They told me it was a really bad idea. We have a very special guest today. They didn't really understand the need. And I'm sitting here with Josh Band. Everyone just told me not to do it. <laughs> I have Josh Band on the show today. Josh is the founder of Plate Crate. On someone who started actually as a baseball player, playing independent baseball, to a founder of a company that sells awesome baseball gear online. My name's Josh Band, and I'm the founder of Plate Crate. My dad got the season tickets to Fenway, so I felt like I just went to a lot of Red Sox games. My favorite Red Sox player of all time was Dustin Pedroia. <laughs> he was short like me, he played second base, he was an underdog. The obsession started with, uh, there was a really ambitious end goal, and that was the major leagues. The odds of making it that far were really, really difficult, but there was a path to get there. I worked for batting cages, I slept in batting cages, I was just always around baseball and always asking questions. I always had really high standards for myself on the baseball field. I didn't have a lot of control <laughs> over uh, failure. What my dad always talked about was figuring it out, right? Even if I didn't know it now, somebody knew the information that I wanted. I just knew that if you just kept trying over and over again, and you kept failing, and you just played a lot of baseball, and you practiced a ton, you could figure it out. I was playing independent ball out of college, and it's kind of this no man's land between minor league baseball and affiliate baseball. When you play independent ball, you just don't make that much money. So you live at the stadium, you live with a host family. That's where the idea for Play Creek came. I was thinking of, you know, how can I keep playing independent ball? Because I would go home in the off season and I would do lessons and I would pour concrete to make ends meet just so I could train. So I thought if there was just one way I could bridge baseball with business, then I could keep playing baseball. One of the first memories I have of Play Crate is I bought all this inventory, I put it in my parents' basement because I didn't have an office, I didn't have anything. I ended up taking all that stuff and packing it into my SUV to ship from the road. But I had my, my brother, my sister, my mom, my dad, they came downstairs and they were looking at all the inventory and they're like, this is like such a weird idea. <laughs> but they sat down there with me for an hour and we all brainstormed what to put in the plate crate. Every month we want a good blend of items. So there's always some type of apparel, there's some type of thing that you can use off the field. Uh, but then we want something for you to train with. Each month is a theme and that really helps because we can create new apparel and new accessories off that theme. I would ship at night in between games. Then I brought it back and I got an office above a gas station at Holden's Oil. And then I got an office above a batting cage, there's just one room. And then we moved into like our real, our real first office, 2017, which I was really proud of. There was one time where we switched websites and every single one of our customers got charged at the wrong time. That really scared me. I was the only person that was working for Plate Crate and I didn't know how to deal with it. I thought that it was gonna put us out of business. My dad said, sit down and fix it. And that's what I did. I just sat at a coffee shop and I just said, I'm not gonna leave until this is fixed. I emailed every single customer individually. I just said, I'm gonna take care of this for you. I've already refunded the money and all this. And I really made sure that people could come to Play Crate and trust us and have a great customer experience. It made me put in more people into the business. We have our videographer, Jesse. Chris, who's right. in charge of all operations and customer service. We have Jem, who you know talks to everybody on chat. And we have our marketing team. Some of them are in New York and New Jersey. I became a dad last year, and it's really cool that now I get to share my love of baseball with him and bring him to Fenway Park for the first time and create those memories for him. Giving him a gift is like the best feeling in the world. Watching him get excited, <laughs> it's really, really fun. I hope more parents will use Play Create as an opportunity to play with it. I want you to test different gear, I want you to ask questions, I want you to go outside, use the stuff, play, have fun and just enjoy baseball. The same way that I love learning about baseball and how to be a great baseball player, it's now transitioned into how to create a really great business that's impactful. Just go outside, go play. <laughs> Hey to my subscribers and to all the people that clicked onto this video to get a better look at the Canon 90D. I spent a lot of time on this film, so thank you for watching. It was for my boss. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, you gotta because I'll be putting out more content with the Canon 90D. And then also I've got a film coming out later this year, which will demonstrate the quality of the Sony FX3. And then I'm also gonna be doing unboxings and giveaways, so uh, make sure to subscribe.